Hey, what's up? This is Chris from Wingsound.com. this video, I'm going to show you a basic overview of how to use your store editor in Logic Studio. Let's check it out. To open up the store editor, simply click on the store button at the bottom of your screen. Both of these windows should pop right up. And just like in the piano roll, the store editor shows you the, a close-up of the audio of your selected region. All right. Except, as you can see in the store editor, it shows it to you in theoretical musical notes. And the cool thing is, it actually does this for both MIDI and audio files. Okay, so I'm going to click back on to the store editor. And the side window is going to pop right back up again. And now, just like in the piano roll, you can click and drag the notes by simply clicking and dragging. And, but as you can tell, unlike in the store editor, I mean, unlike in the piano roll, in the store editor, it drags all of the connected notes along with it. Alright. And to delete a note, simply click on it once till it's blinking. And hit delete on your keypad. And that's all you need to do. And also, as you can tell, logic makes all, whenever you make a change on on your staff, logic makes it theore theoretically sound, so you don't need to worry about adding flats or at adding rests to make it theoretically correct. Logic's going to do that all for you, but then of course you can add rests and flats and all, all that too if you want by simply dragging a note in and that's it. Or, if I wanted to, I could turn this into treble. It's gonna look kinda weird, but I can do that if I want. I'm just gonna put it back to bass to make it more pleasing to the eye. Now, you can also change the time signature if you want by simply, once again, clicking and dragging. You can also change the key signature if you wanna do that by simply, once again, clicking and dragging. And that's, that's the basics of the store editor.